How to add and set up a Godot node using IDE. Greetings. In the second lecture, we will start with learning how to add the Godot node. And the Godot node is a Godot game object to the game scene. It's a straightforward process. So go in a scene window, find this plus sign or uh, use control and a to add uh, a create new node dialog window where we can select some kind of the node if you know what you are searching you will write here in a search box or matches for your search or a list of the game objects are here in this central part of this dialog window. So we have viewport nodes, canvas item nodes, where are 2D nodes, control nodes. Also, we have 3D nodes and uh, many additional nodes like animation, audio streaming, canvas layer, HTTP, TPR request, multiplayer spawner, and etc. 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 There are lots of interesting nodes here. Because we are making 2D game, uh, we will mostly use nodes from uh, this. Uh, part here so this is canvas item 2d nodes or node 2d this node 2d is a root node or a main object for many other nodes as you see here some kind of collision object animated sprite audio listener etc 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 there is a list of these nodes uh, all 2d nodes are uh, created in this light uh, blue um, style and uh, you can easily find them if you know what you are searching for in this uh, lecture we will uh, uh, use a uh, few nodes from uh, collision objects here physics body 2d for example we will use character body 2d we will use area 2d and uh, we will find some other for example static body 2d we can use also and uh, there are also other uh, we will use collision shape 2d mesh instance 2d and many other node sprite 2d for example to add a node to the game scene if you don't know what you are searching you find it here in the matches select it and click on create so this is a very uh, simple process and uh, for example we will start with this static body so static body also you have description here uh, this is a 2d physics body that can be moved by external forces so can't be moved by external forces when moved manually it doesn't affect other bodies in its path so it is good for some kind of static and not movable object use it to... um, as some kind of uh, border uh, game border so select the static body click on create once we will have a first object in this uh, scene window so this is a added node this node is sub node to our root node root node is node 2d and now we have another node called static body 2d this body also have properties and properties are listed here in inspector window if you want to add a node to specific place you need to know your um, hierarchy of the node so if you select root node you will get node in a similar position like static body so if you select root node and select add node and for example go to node 2d and find something like 
uh, I don't know what. Uh, pa, 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 this is complicated. Uh, something simple, something simple. Not so simple, but character body. Okay, character body is, is okay. Create. Uh, as you see, this uh, character body knows node is uh, now also a sub node of the root node. But if you want to create uh, more sub nodes of some object, you need to select this object. For example, if you want to add something to static body as a sub node, you need to select it. Uh, if you uh, select it, uh, the node will be added as a sub node. But if you, for example, add it like this and add node called collision shape, uh, let me let me find some collision shapes collision shapes collision shape collision shape 2d we will add collision shape 2d so now i add collision shape 2d but i want this collision shape to be sub node of static body uh, what you need to do uh, click and hold the left uh, mouse button and move it where you want it so as you see here this will be under the static body and when you release left mouse button, you will uh, get this like this. So as you see, this is now a sub node. And uh, if uh, you need to um, set something other uh, in a property or uh, about the nodes, you will get this information, some kind of warning. This is node configuration warning. A shape must be provided for a collision shape. Character body node is uh, this node has no shape, so it can't collide or interact with other objects. Uh, we add collision shape to static body. Now we will add collision shape to the character body. Now you know how to do it. So just uh, find select collision shape. If you don't want to search here, you have recent options here. So if you use something before in a recent options, you can find it. So select it in a recent option, for example, click create and you will get it here. Also, we again have a, another configuration warning. A shape must be provided for a collision shape. So we are start working in a static body. We will continue. Where is this body in, in, in our screen? Uh, it's located here. As you see, this is initial position 0, 0. If you go to the transfer, you will see the position as X epsilon 0, 0. And now go again to the collision shape. Uh, we will need to add some... Uh, shapes so we will need to change some kind of property to uh, to to resolve this warning so this is mainly all about how to add a node also you can select the proper node and then a right mouse button and then you can for example add child node uh, or do some other things like instantiate, collapse, uh, branch, uh, cut, copy, attach, script, rename, change, tap, move up, move down, etc. For example, if we want this character to be somewhere up, we can go here, right mouse button, move up, or control up. And this will be up in uh, hierarchy. So character body will be up in hierarchy. There are other interesting options, uh, duplicate, reparent, reparent to new node, make scene root, save branch and scene, etc., 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 open documentation, uh, this is explained later, always useful. For example, we can go to character body and click on open documentation and we will get some kind of information about this class. So a 2D physics body specialized for character moved by the script and because we are uh, creating a 2d game uh, with some kind of character we will have a character main character will be created using this character body 2d node 
and with the static body we will only resolve some uh, static objects in a game for example uh, we can put some kind of um, a border object uh, game border object object or similar okay we will continue